here is small and it's nimble and it's flexible it's willing to entertain um, new and different ways of doing things and it's also got uh, a really diverse practice um, model here and that's really a tribute to the to the physicians that have been here before us it's one of the few places in Canada where you'll find family doctors um, still doing OR assists working in the emergency rooms delivering babies, caring for a hospital inpatients, as well as actually uh, working in their clinics. So it's really got the diverse uh, practice model that's going to keep somebody interested for a career. Medicine is very, very interesting. It in, it's comprehensive. It includes a broad array of medical conditions. Uh, the fact that you have a base to work out of, the fact that it's kind of comprehensive care in a team setting. And I've been in emergency for four years and, uh, and I must say that uh, it's built on my confidence in terms of emergency medicine. Rural Newfoundland sets, uh, it's got a unique list of challenges for a family physician. You do more things. You spend an awful lot of time in medical school, you know, getting the skills you need to work. Uh, and rural Newfoundland gives you a chance to use those skills. Variety, a wide variety of, of things uh, here. You can do um, some emergency work, keep up your emergency skills. You can do some minor procedure type work, um, as well as your clinics. You can do house calls, palliative care, chemotherapy. So it's a really interesting place to work. And um, the staff is excellent. We have excellent nurses. We have lab and x-ray on site. And uh, a diabetic nurse, just great support staff. So. The resources, both physician and hospital resources because you have great, as a GP coming out in a new practice, you have people you can call on. You can, you know, if you're up doing a delivery, if you're assisting in the OR, if you're on call in the eMERGE, you have a good supply of specialists who are all well-qualified, well-trained, and most have been here for quite a while. Well, I went through uh, the CSAT program, and I was in training for four months all over the island. <laughs> well, I worked in Carbonier, Clarenville, Baywood, and Cornerbrook. And after that, I, I, went, I saw a variety of patients, a variety of uh, cases, and that really uh, prepared me to start my own practice. The involvement with the medical school is what brought me here in the first place. Um, and it's, again, one of the things that have kept me here because uh, I'm certainly interested in, in teaching others and, and with medical students or residents. Certainly. Um, interest in training medical students, residents, and actually other healthcare professionals is almost, an interest in that is almost a necessity to work here. These rich links to Memorial University and the ability to kind of train not only medical students but now to be involved in interprofessional teaching. We also precept other students and we very much work in an interdisciplinary type of setting. So there is also a lot of uh, teaching of medical students and residents that goes on it's, here. It's excellent here. They have teaching every day, um, which I'm definitely not used to. <laughs> I'm used to once a it's week. A good learning experience here as a resident, but it's a good learning experience as a doctor too. Continue medical education on, on the go all the time. That's very good. And um, there's plenty of opportunities to do ATLS, ACLS. A number of families who live here can trace their roots back many hundreds of years. And so the community over the years has evolved with a very, very strong 
sense of culture, history, tradition and spirituality. So there's a very dynamic sense of who you are, where you're from, what you belong to, and uh, it's a very, very rich heritage to tap into. When I came here first, I guess, um, the year where everything was ready for me, my apartment was ready, keys and everything, they had a, a box of uh, food to get us started, which was nice because it was late on a, on a Sunday evening when I got here, so it was nice to have at least something to have for the next morning. People just welcome you into their homes and uh, you get to know a lot of people around at a more personal level. The quietness and serenity of this place seems unreal. You, you feel like it's this unreal utopia, you know? I mean, you see people walking around 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock at night. Children are safe to, uh, to run around. And I know some people don't even lock their doors. They say, if I'm not in, the door is open, just come in, you know? <laughs> I don't think it happens anywhere else. Um, life is a bit more relaxed and I like, uh, I'm a very people person, I like to communicate with the people. If you live in a big city, uh, sometimes you treat the patient, you never see them again. But here I meet them again, so I know what's happening to them. Uh, so I have more chance to see what's going on with them, even though I had a expo one exposure here, I see them again and again. So I become a part of the community and I have more responsibility uh, thinking that they're my people. Well, there's a fairly extensive uh, organization, uh, or a fairly extensive amount of organized sports. There are hockey leagues, there are softball leagues, there are soccer leagues. There's a uh, baby, uh, baby Mozart uh, um, uh, musicals uh, um, for for children to get involved in. There's a dance school. There's ballet. There's a, a lot of different things for families. Uh, more services than you'd actually expect in a town this size. It's really it's nice. I really enjoy it, and my children are very happy. And I find it a very, very safe place to bring up my children. I so think this is the most safest place in the world. I've been around the world, but I find Newfoundland the most safest place. The lifestyle is fantastic. And our hours are a lot shorter, um, and uh, we get to really enjoy our time off. And there's just so much to enjoy. We bought a little sailboat and going around the bay, um, but then climbing the mountains. And in the winter, the snowshoeing and the cross-country skiing and the downhill and the telemark and all that, it's fantastic. This is a very nice place to walk. I, as it's a rural place, and you have things in your pantry. If you love your walk and then you want time to spend with your family, it's a very nice place to walk, uh, to come and walk because you're going to enjoy both your practice and also you, you have a, a good family life uh, as well. Um, winter type activities, skidooing and uh, the hunting and the skiing. In the summertime you have all kinds of outdoors activities as well and uh, I'm an avid golfer myself and we have a first class 18 hole golf course here. But I can leave my office and be on the first tee at the golf course uh, in five minutes. That's just uh, unheard of in most settings and to me it's idyllic because I can have a full working day and still get a game of golf in. And the first winter I thought I would have to send my husband back somewhere <laughs> to a city somewhere because it seems long and, and what not but the second winter we really embraced it so in terms of you know the skiing and the skidooing and in the summer you know we we kayak, we camp, and um, there's, you know, you have to embrace the outside, and there's tons to do, and it's actually lots of fun. It's a beautiful place to live, um, lots of good outdoor things to do, safe place, nice, wonderful people, that's the best part of Newfoundland, um, it's a beautiful place in the world, I think. Come and walk here, it's beautiful, lovely place to live.